Honeywell's latest rapid prototyping environment enables emerging technologies such as touch and voice recognition to be tested in flight. So the voice and touchscreen recognition systems on these type displays follow along the other avionics upgrades that we do at Honeywell. Departure. Our innovative prototyping environment is what we use to evaluate the application of new technologies using human-centered design approaches that will ultimately find their way onto the flight decks of tomorrow. By more rapidly testing technology in airborne scenarios with real users, we can more quickly bring these new technologies to pilots and operators. As you can see, we've replaced one of the multi-control display units in this Embraer 170 aircraft with a tablet. Clear SPAD. The overall goal is always to make the pilot's life uh, easier. SID. It's a tablet, it's portable, and allows the pilot to do anything an MCDU can do. Bard. They're efficient in that I can go right to the mode or uh, control function that I want to use without getting uh, trapped in, in different uh, submenus or, or different modes. That it's uh, effectively going right to where I want it to do and it's doing the intended function that the display or the feature is, is designed to do. Arrival. In this example, we're going to work through the English language commands but ultimately, voice command could come in any language. That time spent scrolling through pages in search of a screen or a command is even harder if English is not the pilot's first language. Arrival. You know, these, these things always aid in safe, effective, and efficient uh, flying operations. Phoenix Tower. Saddle, Homer, Star, Climb. There are a couple of challenges. Obviously the first is accuracy, but not just accuracy like you can get using voice dialing on your smartphone. These applications need to work with all the background noise you'll find on a flight deck. And remember, we're filming this in an Embraer 170 that's moving, not in a lab. Frequency 121.8. Ooh, crap, the radio page. Nice. Yeah, put it in there. Touchscreen interface uh, makes a, a display more flexible that because we don't have to change buttons. The buttons just change on the screen. Operators with Honeywell's EPIC system will see this capability on their flight decks in the near future and on other flight decks after that. We're continuing to test it on the ground and in the air with our customers providing a lot of valuable input. It saves me time. It, uh, I don't have to push a lot of buttons. Uh, and, you know, through voice alone, I can get it to go right where I want it to go. 